The FBI is indebted to the city of Charleston, all of our state and local partners here in the Charleston area for partnering with us during this uh, critical exercise. The hostage rescue team is a national asset um, that the FBI has that deploys around the world to help American citizens in critical incidences. The Charleston area provides us with a unique opportunity to train in multiple environments uh, with this team to make the most out of out of training exercises and our partners here allow us to train in multiple different recovery efforts um, whether it's a medical evac or um, a hostage situation so uh, the the partners here within the the charleston area uh, invited us in um, have partnered with us throughout these exercises again uh, for something that is vital not only to law enforcement safety but to uh, the safety of all citizens that the hostage rescue team or any other tactical um, you know, teams uh, might be involved in. Um, again, we, we always want to train with our state and local partners as much as possible so that when we have a critical incident that we all know our capabilities of one another, um, we have relationships built with one another, and um, we know different terrains and elements and um, how to overcome those within critical incidences. So again, these trainings like this are extremely vital to uh, the FBI and to Charleston and, and South Carolina as well for um, if an incident ever occurs that, that requires these national level assets uh, to come in and assist. So um, with that being said, I'll like to turn it over to the Chief of the Charleston uh, Fire Department. Good afternoon. I'll just echo the, uh, the thanks for the partnerships we have in the region whether this week whether it was air operations or water rescues or land searches we realized that uh, part of the charleston fire department exists to make sure that uh, everybody else can do their jobs so we're happy to partner with that we know that everything we do points us to a stronger community and we're happy to just have a small part in that what, what made this training a little different than previous ones and, and what is so important about this one is we really focused on uh, the medical aspect um, of providing aid um, during a critical incident and how would we transport uh, injured either officers, law enforcement officers, um, or uh, civilians or, or citizens from a critical incident. How could we safely, efficiently, and, efficiently and quickly get them transported to, um, to a medical facility or to render aid on the spot when necessary. And UM, UMSC's uh, hospital here is, is you know, renowned for being one of the great trauma centers, uh, not just in the state of the country. So um, being able to train in partnership with them as well was extremely beneficial to the exercise and, and to all of our partnerships. Um, within the FBI, every one of our tactical teams has a medical element um, attached to that tactical team. Um, not only for the safety of our operators, but, but for the safety and rendering aid to, to any civilians that we encounter. Um, so that's what we focused on in this training exercise is, is the medical aid aspect of it. And then also cross training with our state and local partners so that when we do have a critical event, that they know our capabilities um, within the FBI of, of treating on the spot and within our tactical teams, um, but also that we're learning from them um, that are, that are on the ground and know you know the area very well of if we do have a critical incident which route should be taken which ones are congested you know is air an option you know would there be a field within a location that we could drop a helicopter um, how would how would we go about making sure that 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 is cleared and available um, the state and local partners are are wired into their communities whereas the fbi is not so we require we we really rely on them um, to help us know you know how we're able to efficiently use our capabilities within